chili pie burritos. We all know what chili pie is. Basically, you crack open a bag of corn chips, pile chili right into the bag, add onion and cheese, sour cream. Other people call them walking tacos, but I am going to turn that concept into a burrito and I'm not gonna regret it, I'll tell you that. So I've been browning two pounds of ground beef and I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste and some minced garlic and then plenty of salt and pepper. And I'll stir this just so that tomato paste can start to fry on the bottom of the pan. This mixture is looking good, so I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce and a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. It's a staple of the South right here, definitely a staple of Texas and then two cans of kidney beans that I drained and rinsed. And basically what I'm doing is making a super fast chili. This is not an artisan chili. This is not a chili that takes hours and hours to simmer to perfection. This is just when you need something brown, hot, and plenty of it, basically. Okay, then I added about four tablespoons of chili powder, which is a lot, but I wanna pack a lot of flavor into this chili. All right, so this chili is all mixed together. Okay, so I'm gonna let the chili simmer for about 10 minutes. And while it does, I'm gonna lay out the stuff for the burritos. 10 minutes later, look at this chili. Mm -mm -mm. It's amazing that you can make a chili uh, this delicious in such a small amount of time. So I've been busy laying out the fixins for the burritos. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the chili off. The stove has done its work, and I'm gonna build the first burrito. So flour tortillas, of course, and I'm gonna add a generous amount of chili to the center. I don't know, how much should I add? A lot. Oh, more, okay. Like a cup or so? That's good. That's good. How's that? That's the spot. And then, of course, cheese, right? Onions, corn chips, Sour cream. Okay, so to roll this up, if it's even possible to roll this up. <laughs> you put too many corn I chips. I always do that. So I'm gonna roll in the sides, roll over one of the other sides, and then, come on, Re. Come on, Re. the kids are watching. There's a hole in the burrito. Alex, <laughs> Alex. Shush. You put too many corn chips in there. No, I did not. Golly, ma'am. Okay, I've got some olive oil and I already put a skillet over medium heat, so I'm gonna add plenty of olive oil. Or you could do butter. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this big old burrito with a hole in it that Alex just pointed out. And I'll put it seam side down. And then, it's optional to grill your burritos. You can leave it totally ungrilled and just go ahead and mow this down right now. <laughs> but if you have the time to grill it, it makes all the difference in the world. Oh, it's gonna be such a treat. All right, so check this out, Alex. I just wanted to do the first side to kind of seal that seam. Ooh, oh my ooh, God. Ooh, that looks what? so good. I knew it would blow your mind. All right. Now I'm just gonna babysit this until it looks exactly the same on the other side, and then I'll take it off, slice into it. I think the burrito is ready. I'm gonna get it and flip it over onto the plate. Oh. Mm. All right, I wanna show you what the inside looks like. Ready? Ooh, you don't want the skillet to be so hot that you burn the tortilla before the cheese is melted. So let's see if I practice what I preach. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. And you can wrap it with a paper towel, hand it to your teenager uh, when he walks out the door in the morning, he or she. But I'm telling you what, when it comes to teenager food, it doesn't get any better than this.